the Spa Doctor Podcast. I'm Dr. Trevor Cates. On today's podcast, we're busting common myths around supplements. In my 20 years of seeing patients, I continue to hear misinformation and a lot of questions around supplements. There is confusion, persuasive marketing, concerns about regulations, social chatter, and self-diagnosis online that have created a lot of confusion around supplements. So I asked today's guest to come on the Spot Doctor podcast to help us shed some light on supplements. My guest is Dr. Patrick Gentempo, a speaker, author, and entrepreneur who has often been referred to as the philosopher entrepreneur. He is well known and respected in the world of health, wellness, and business, and his keynote noted hundreds of presentations around the world. While practicing as a chiropractor, he co-developed innovative diagnostic technologies and built a considerable international business, of which he was the CEO for over 20 years. Currently, most of Dr. Gentempo's activities are around Revealed Films, a company he co-founded that produces popular docu-series films seen around the world. And one of these latest films busts many myths around supplements through interviews with leading experts. And the film explores this topic without a vested interest in what is revealed. So in today's podcast, Dr. Jen Tempo shares his key takeaways from the interviews he did during the Supplements Revealed film, including what the biggest concerns are around supplements, safety, regulation, manufacturing practices, where to find the highest quality and purity, what to look for, and whether or not you even need to take supplements at all. I really enjoyed our conversation and I hope you also enjoy this interview. Patrick, it's so great to have you on the Spot Doctor podcast. Welcome. Great to be here with you. Thank you, Trevor. I know we're we're in Park City, but in different different places in Park City, right? <laughs> well, if you could, if you could see behind me, uh, we've got a lot of snow going on out there today. So uh, you know you're uh, you're probably looking at it yourself from where you are. Yeah, I'm just looking at my windows that way. Yours is behind you, but yes, lots of snowy snow in Park City. Um, and we're talking about supplements today, and it's such a hot topic because there's so many benefits to supplements, as you and I both know as doctors. There's also a lot of marketing hype and a lot of uh, things that could go wrong with supplements too. And so you just, you were a host of, um, you're a host of this Supplements Revealed, and I'm sure you learned so much interviewing all the experts. Yeah. Yeah, You know, uh, so with my background as a a chiropractor and, and having really had a lot of businesses in healthcare and in wellness, um, you know, I would say that I had a good working knowledge of nutrition and supplementation. I wouldn't call myself an expert. You know, I'm not like a biochemist and you know, not a researcher, but I certainly had a good working knowledge of it. As a matter of fact, you know, I, I, when I grew up, my father had a health food store, you know, and back then it was a little weird, you know, for, people, for kids to be taking supplements. But I always had some context for it. And uh, when we decided to dig into this particular project that revealed films, uh, one of the, the drivers was supplements are very uh, popular. It's a multi, multi-billion dollar industry, yet the vast majority of people, including myself, who's got some pretty good background and experience here, can be, we can be sometimes bewildered <laughs> by the array of what's out there and the conflicting information and is it regulated? Is it not regulated? Are we safe? Are we not safe? So there was a lot of things to explore because, you know, you walk into Whole Foods, a GNC, and, you know, you see the shelves. Uh, you go to Amazon, you start looking up a supplement, and, you know, you could be reading for days. And how do you sort this stuff out? How do you know what's right for you? I and mean, there's a lot of questions. So we decided to go ahead and tackle that. Yeah, that's amazing. And so one of the big questions that you brought up, are supplements regulated? So what have you found out about that? <clears throat> so this was... Uh, actually, a, a really heated part of, of some of these conversations. So, but, you know, our style in Revealed Films, when we go out and we do these docuseries, is we sit with experts and do a, a long-form interview with them so they can really, you know, dig deep into their expertise, understand what they know, share it, et cetera. So we, we want to entertain, but we also want to educate. And um, when it comes to that particular issue, the people who are in the industry, we did even speak to some lawyers and legal experts who've been um, – some of the people who've gotten legislation passed around supplements. 
uh, as well as manufacturers who have to comply with the regulation and FDA experts. So the, the punchline, you know, is that supplements in the supplement industry, much, uh, to, you know, as most people have this wrong, but it is extremely regulated. There's, as a matter of fact, I was just reading uh, today, um, a notice about um, a company that the FDA caused to do a recall of all their products because their manufacturing facility was inspected by the FDA. They were not following good manufacturing practices the consequence of which is they had to go back for several years and do a complete recall of their supplements. Now, if you're unregulated, that kind of stuff doesn't happen. So, um, so re now, this doesn't mean that there aren't bad actors and people who aren't following the rules and people who are, you know, swimming in the cracks and, and trying to make a you know, quick hit, and maybe they're not following the regulation, but how supplements are manufactured is regulated what claims you can make about the supplements and what they do is regulated. What you're putting on your label is regulated. So I, I think one of the things that we did learn is that it is a highly regulated industry. It's not regulated in exactly the same way that pharmaceuticals are because pharmaceuticals have to make claims. This drug is used to treat this condition. A, a, a supplement can't make a claim about treating a specific condition unless it actually has trials that show that this has occurred and it goes through FDA and gets approved to do that type of thing. Yeah, and, and I'm so glad you've clarified that because I've heard all kinds of things around that, people misunderstanding that. Mm -hmm. Now, it is important that people are actually following these regulations. And just because there's a supplement company out, company out there selling products doesn't mean that they're following within the FDA guidelines, right? right? So how do people know, how can they be reassured that they're choosing supplements that are actually complying with regulations? So you're, you're asking one of the most important questions uh, that anybody, I think, might take away from the series. Uh, that's one of the most important questions is how do I know? Everything sounds great because uh, I can tell you what the supplement industry does have is a volume of excellent marketers and copywriters who just know how to you know, get your attention, to write good copy, to lead you down a road, and then get you to buy so, um, so now the question, as you're asking, is, well, how do I know this is a really good supplement, it's good quality, et cetera? And the, it's, I wish I could say it's a very simple answer. Uh, it's not that simple, but I'm going to give you some of the things that we discovered through our experience. Uh, so there's a couple things. Number one, uh, the manufacturers or the, the, the distributor of the supplement, hopefully they are also the manufacturer, but most people really do just contract for the manufacturing. But they will have, if you can figure out who's manufacturing the supplement, they should have the varying certifications and other such things that validate that what they're doing and what they're delivering to you is real based on the representations they're making. So uh, a really good manufacturer, for example, uh, let's say that we're creating a, a multivitamin and we're making some claim about uh, a certain amount of, of vitamin C, a certain amount of B vitamin, certain amount of vitamin, whatever the mix is and what the potency is, et cetera. So uh, let's say I'm the manufacturer. Well, I might be importing these source nutrients to blend and create this supplement from China, for example. And the person that I'm buying these source elements from is making a representation to me. This is vitamin C, this is the source of it, this is the potency of it, et cetera. If I'm really doing my job well, I'm gonna take what I have and not only test it inside my own manufacturing facility to make sure that it's all validated, but I'm also, when, I'm, when I have the product, I'm gonna send this out to a third-party verification lab who will take my product. So now this is a financially disinterested company. Now they're gonna take my product and they're gonna lab test it and then validate that what I am putting in the bottle and selling is actually what's on the label and, you know, and making sure that it all has the proper integrity in place. So, uh, so most people, most manufacturers who do that are really happy, and not happy, but they wanna brag about it a little, saying, hey, here's our website, 
here are our certificates from good manufacturing practice. Here's our certificates from third party labs validating that the product we're delivering to you is, is what we say it is, et cetera. So that's, so one of the things, and it's an extra step, I get this, it's an extra step for, you know, a, you know, a consumer, but it's not a hard step. And like, for example, if I'm at Whole Foods, uh, some labels now that I've noticed on some, um, supplements, they have a barcode, a scan code. I can just take my phone, I can scan the code, it's gonna pull me to the site and it's gonna show me the, you know, the validation. So that's one way to know. A second way to know is longevity. Companies that have been in business for long periods of time, uh, typically uh, they, they have a pedigree, they have basically a, a history of uh, being in the marketplace and sustaining for long periods of time and a reputation and, uh, and that's very validating. A lot of times what happens is you'll get the quick hit monsters who come in and they basically put together a formula, write a bunch of great copy, put out this product into marketplace, really like, you know, they'll buy Google ads and Facebook ads and all this kind of stuff. And if, if you go to search the company, how long they've been around, et cetera, you start to see that there's no real history there. That is usually a red flag. That's usually like somebody who's looking to make a quick buck and then they're going to be gone again. So, uh, so trusted brands that have long periods of standing are typically uh, another good sign. So if you've got if you've got companies who are putting their third party validation up there with external labs, they've been around for a while. Uh, you know, you get a little bit of the feel for the history of the company. Now you're going to start to see that uh, that's probably a pretty good product. Yeah. Okay. All great points. Now. You know, supplements are sold all over the place. They're sold online, they're sold in drug stores, grocery stores, health food stores, practitioner offices, they're, you know, in spas, they're, they're all over the place now. So is there a particular place where people should, I mean, your neighbor might be selling supplements, right? So is there a particular place where you should be really looking for supplements, do you think? The answer is yes, um, and there's, there's a strata uh, uh, in essence, meaning <clears throat> like you'll see, you can go into your Walgreens or your general supermarket and you have these very popular big box, you know, multivitamin supplements, spectrum, you know, these types of things. And, you know, here's the silver, here's the varying levels of it. Um, and here's what most experts said. It's really interesting. It's not like either a supplement is worthless or it's great, there's varying levels of it. Meaning they said, listen, those cheap supplements, so let me start by saying this, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time in the supplement world, you are getting what you pay for. Meaning if you're getting the cheap multivitamin, it's probably not gonna be as good. A synthetic, you know, big box store, mass market multivitamin is better than nothing. It's cheaper than nothing. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, you know, it's not cheaper, it's cheaper than the more expensive ones, but it's not as expensive, you know, it's not as expensive, but so it's cheaper, but your body's utilization of it is not going to be as robust. So when you're cutting costs, you're probably cutting quality and, and bioavailability and some of these other important things. However, still better than nothing is what most of the experts have said. Then you go to the next level and you say, okay, we have synthetics. Now we have you know, uh, products that are not synthetic, but they're food-based supplements. Those most experts agree are, are gonna be better than the synthetic. Then a level up, for, and they're gonna be a little bit more expensive. The level up from that's gonna be organic food-based supplements. Most, but not all experts, some experts, this was debatable. Some, and incidentally, I'll, I'll tell you where I personally fall, but some said, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's organic or not. It's not gonna really make a difference in how your body utilizes, blah, blah, blah. Other experts said, I would only take organic supplements. Personally, I believe that's a good idea. I, I, I don't like the kind of stuff that can go in there if it's a non-organic supplement and what that might do to your body. So my own personal opinion after going through this whole experience is that organic is probably a good idea. And then you have fermented organic food-based supplements. That's even more expensive, but the bioavailability is there and you're going to get more um, out of it. So Everybody gets to decide what, how much they want to budget and allocate to, towards this. And the thing that you know, everybody said in the series is that, um, that uh, you know, it's not a matter of you now take supplements to solve all your problems. It's called supplementation, meaning this is just an adjunct. It's not 
the panacea answer that you can, supplements do not allow you to have a bad lifestyle and then make up for it. It's a matter of saying, have a good lifestyle, have a good eating patterns, et cetera, all the kind of stuff that you would teach. And then in addition, supplement with healthier things. Uh, now, one of the things that came up, and of course you and I had this conversation too, is that um, you know, a lot of us talk about you know, what we're putting into our bodies. And I'm talking about these rules, synthetic versus you know, food-based versus organic versus, you know, uh, when you're putting stuff on your skin, this is also, this is getting absorbed into your system you want to have also, you know, similar type considerations, which obviously you're very expert in. Um, so, uh, and so it's interesting how what comes out. It's not. There's many ways that things get into your body, <laughs> and and orally through the mouth is only one of them. There's all these other ways that that happens. But in essence, one of the things I kind of learned is that um, is that there are less. Uh, I'm going to use bad grammar uh, just on purpose here, but there's less good supplements. And then there's really good supplements, but just because they are a big box synthetic supplement, I mean, it's not what I send to my mother. I send my mother really good organic, even sometimes organic fermented supplements. I know she's going to absorb better and I spend the extra money. She would probably go to school, the store based on her budget and just buy a Centrum, which would be better than nothing, but I'd rather upgrade her supplementation regimen. So, uh, so I think um, you know, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a sidebar to the answer to your question. Um, so when you say, where should I get my supplements? What's the best place? It has to do with what kind of supplement you're looking for. Some really good supplements are only available through professionals, meaning they're only distributed through doctor's offices, sometimes, you know, whether it's a naturopath, a chiropractor, maybe a medical doctor and, and uh, acupuncturist, but usually people who are wellness oriented practitioners and they're only distributed, and I know what some of those are. When I was in practice, I utilized those types of supplements, and and uh, that's a really good place to get supplements because now you got a, a licensed professional who actually did the research and is offering this to you. Then you can look and say, okay, are there good supplements at, that you can buy at like a Whole Foods? And I'm, you know, I, I, I now go through and I look at the Whole Foods selection. Um, they certainly don't offer everything, but there's certainly a good variety of supplements there. That, that are, some of them are fermented, some are not, some are organic, some are not, but there's a really pretty good variety there in that aisle. You're hit and miss on the person who's making the recommendations and working in that aisle. You know, you never know, so you have to kind of know what you're doing. I think probably the least, uh, the, the lower quality supplements are available kind of in the big chain stores. Right, right. Okay, great. Thank you for saying that. I mean, my personal experience is mostly with the practitioner lines, and I know people oftentimes ask me that. Can I can I just go to the, the drugstore and get something? Can I go to Costco? Can I, you know, where do I, my neighbor is selling this to me. <laughs> I live in Utah, which is multi-level marketing uh, capital, right? <laughs> you know, so my, my patients have neighbors selling supplements. And so, but I, I agree. Like, I think that there are high quality supplements available in all these places, but not, they're not necessarily across the board, if you're looking for something across the board where it's a little bit safer, I would say practitioner lines, like, you know, what you're saying, and also working with a practitioner that's educated and that can help you really hone in on, on what, you know, what exactly you need and not overdo it too on supplements, right? I'm sure you talked about overdoing on supplements as well. Well, you and I both know uh, my partner and friend who is the producer, Jeff Hayes. And <laughs> I've had many, many meals with Jeff Hayes. And whenever you sit with Jeff, the bag comes out and there's so many, he takes so many supplements a day. Uh, and, and in part, you know, we, and we have this running joke between us because, you know, every time you sit with someone and they explain this, their supplements, what they do, why you need them, et cetera, you're like, oh my God, I have to have that. And then the next one, oh my God, I have that. Next thing you know, you're taking 20, 30 supplements a day. So um, I think it's a good idea, and, and certainly some of the people we interviewed validated this, that you want to rotate in and out uh, sometimes. Like, it's not like you have one supplement regime and that's it for your entire life. Like, I can tell you right now, it's winter here. I'm not outside nearly as much. I'm supplementing with D3 and K2, you know, because I... Uh, I'm getting less of it from the sun. Um, you know, if, if uh, you know, there's certain circumstances where I'm taking more C than other times I might not. I like a liposomal C, you know, so that it kind of survives the gut. Um, so there's, there's, you know, I don't have the same daily regimen for months or years at a time. I'm rotating and cycling through varying forms of supplementation. 
and as you said, you know, practitioner lines are, you know, I think, you know, that's usually the, you know, the very premium level supplements. And uh, with that, you know, they're usually more expensive than what you're going to buy in other places. And that's why you want to be working with a practitioner so that you're not taking things that you know, you're spending a bunch of money on that you really don't need. So now you've got a practitioner who's got a high quality supplement. It's going to be a, probably more targeted based on what your needs are. And, uh, and, and you, know, you can feel usually, it's not, nothing's 100%, but usually you can feel like a practitioner-based supplement is going to be a, you know, a, a, one of the premium quality supplements. Right. Okay. And so, and I know you, thank you for that. Um, I know that you mentioned that you can't, that you don't want to just take supplements to make up for an unhealthy lifestyle. And, and, and I completely agree with that. Now, what, what about the people who eat really healthy that actually, you know, have a healthy um, eating plan and do they, do they need to take supplements? So that's a question I often get asked. It's an, it's a, it's a popular question. And again, another really good question. And my answer is yes. Um, and the answer in the question, well, why, you know, am I getting all my stuff from the food and the way I'm eating? The answer is probably for the most part. However, um, we have, you know, the, the nutrient deprivation of, of the soil, in other words, we've over farmed, even if it's organic, we, you know, we're, the, the density of the nutrients in the soil has been compromised, I believe, in most farmlands for the most part, especially industrial agriculture you know, massive amounts of production out of the soil, taking all the nutrients, doesn't have the time to recover. They're not rotating crops through. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of things about agriculture and food. It's hard to get everything you need from the way food is sourced today. So I believe that, um, and, and just toxins and stresses, I think are more extreme than usual. So this is why I believe that uh, even if you're eating a very healthy diet, uh, you want to be looking at supplementation uh, relative to who you are, what kind of diet you eat, where you live. I mean, there's so many variables. But uh, in the end, uh, I, I think the, the, the broad answer to the question is yes, even if you're eating healthy, uh, supplementation is probably still a good idea. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And I also think it you know, plays into like, you know, if you have symptoms or not too. Like if you have symptoms, you can look at supplements as a therapeutic um, modality and um, and then also looking at genetic predispositions right if you have certain genetic predispositions that can help kind of compensate for the possible um, yeah predispositions that you have for disease so yeah so awesome. both, both extraordinarily important points uh, and and you know you bring to mind uh, really what I see as the two divisions of supplementation one is uh, uh, nu nutrition as a therapeutic approach towards dealing with something. And another one is a lifestyle wellness approach. And they're different things. Therapeutic amounts of supplements to try to deal with a certain symptomatic or, or pathological picture. You're saying, hey, I don't want to take medications and, and go down the, you know, kind of the toxic medical route. I want to, I want to help myself through this and have my body recover. And now I'm going to do what, for lack of a better term, therapeutic doses of vitamins and supplements uh, to help me get through whatever it is I'm challenged with, which is very different than, you know, saying I do daily, uh, daily amounts of certain vitamins just as a part of my lifestyle, which is me right now. Like I don't have a particular condition or a particular problem that I'm taking specific supplements for. I just supplement with, you know, uh, you know, I probably take five a day right now, five different supplements a day that I take as a part of just a lifestyle strategy for me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agree. And, and certainly when you're looking at more of a therapeutic or clinical nutrition, you're treating a health condition, then I think it's really important to work with a functional medicine or naturopathic doctor that absolutely. can, can yeah. help do testing and really help you because you know, there. I'm sure you talked about there are some downsides to supplements too, and some safety concerns. You can, you know, you can go overboard with certain nutrients, and there can be safety concerns. So that's one of the reasons why uh, working with a practitioner is important. Yeah, there are safety concerns. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm laughing at the irony because we went out to say, okay, we're going to take this very complicated world, bring it all together, and simplify it. And I, I think to a degree, we did. But as Einstein said, uh, the, the goal is to make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. And, uh, and so it still requires a certain amount of thinking and, and complexity you know, to be able to do this right. But uh, I just want to echo number 
and what you said is very important is that if you really have a health challenge, um, don't get on the internet, read about some things and start trying to treat it yourself. You should be seeing a good functional medicine person that can that, that navigates these waters and knows how to do this stuff, who can do the proper blood testing and other types of testing to make sure you're, you're getting the right things and getting the right results. Uh, secondly, uh, as far as, uh, you know, okay, so, you know, can you take toxic amounts of supplements or herbs, you know, which are also thrown in there, you know, uh, other such things? The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, secondly, you know, not only can you take things that could be toxic, but one of the more riveting interviews I did was with a PhD uh, researcher in biochemistry who's really expert in these areas. And he said that many times we're combining supplements that individually are really good for you, but when you put them together and take them at the same time, they, are, they literally um, cancel each other out. Not necessarily that, that they hurt you. That can happen in rare occasions, especially if you're taking medications. You got to watch out for contraindications and supplements. But sometimes you say, well, I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this. And those are both really good things. You might need both those things. But if you do them at the same time, they nullify each other's effects. So you have to figure out how to time these things. So, so I, I, I wish I could tell you that it was you know, so easy. Just do the, you know, A, B, and C and you're done. There's a little bit more to know. It's good to know what supplements should not be taken together, which is one of the things we review. You should, you should understand which things can become toxic if you're taking too much of them. And, and if you're going to be a, you know, a health consumer, you just have to get some basic understanding of these things. Yeah, I think it's there. Like, you know, you, I don't, how many people did you interview for this and how many hours of interview? Um, I think we interviewed roughly, well, I'm going to say it's 50 to 60 people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of people, and it goes everything from the manufacturers to the researchers and academicians to practitioners who are you know functional medicine practitioners uh, to you know um, product developers who are very important. These are people who figure out the formulation. So you know we we really talked to all the varying dimensions of the industry, and it was pretty eye opening. Very very interesting, and and um, and it's not like you're pitching a supplement or something like, like, like you have your own supplement that you're pitching and you really just wanted to reveal all this information because there are so many myths out there and so many questions that you and I get all the time. Right? Yeah, there's no doubt. I think, you know, and I, I, I try not to steer people too much because as you said, it's not like, Hey, we're shilling for a particular supplement company here as an infomercial. Um, you know, we talk to dozens of different product providers uh, all over the map from people who do your know, product provide for uh, you know practitioners or that pra practitioner lines to consumer lines and everything in between. Some people sell online, some people have retail space. So we, we really looked at it all. But you you'll see when you watch pretty quickly you're gonna you're gonna decide who you trust, who you feel good about. Uh, you know, like I, oh that person you know as they describe their process, how they think, how they formulate, and what they put out there in the world. Yeah, that's that's the the guy or the gal that I want to you know that that feels right to me. And there were for me, and I, and I don't want to bias other people necessarily, uh, but there were you know three or four of, of those provider you know people who provide product to the marketplace that I said, you know, with everything I've seen, uh, you know, I'm I'm buying their products. <laughs> so uh, and it doesn't mean other people were bad. I just felt like these are the ones that that spoke to my values most. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh... I know we covered a lot so far. Were there any uh, interviews that where the answers surprised you? Were there? I mean, I'm sure there were, but anything that you want to share with us? And I'm, I, I want people to go <laughs> actually watch Supplements Revealed because I mean, I can't wait to watch it. So um, I know that I, you know, I haven't watched all the interviews yet, so I want to finish watching them. But um, anything in particular, you're like, wow, I didn't know that. That's fascinating. Well, so a couple of things. Anyway, first of all, um, just uh, supplements reveal is it's a free viewing period we're in right now. I think at the time of the release of this, uh, you know, it's already started. So I'd recommend going to, uh, you know, there's a link, probably an email that you send out that they can click on and then they can go register. It's free. It's free to register. You can watch the content as we release it. And we'll be releasing it day by day over a period of time. And, uh, and, you know, hopefully you'll catch enough of it to make it make a difference in your life. And, and uh, I think even one episode could be pretty life changing. So, so check that out. Uh, as far as the ahas, um, yeah, I, I think some of them I sort of alluded to already, uh, but I can tell you that some of the more shocking things 
were, uh, the thing that kind of shook me most was how source, um, source uh, components to supplements uh, that the source materials can vary widely and how often sometimes, especially the stuff coming from China, and please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying all things that come from China are bad. As a matter of fact, so much of what's going out in all the varying supplements is coming from China right now, uh, but how there's large swings of inconsistency in what's really there and that, and this is where I'm saying, you need a, a supplement manufacturer that's truly testing this up and getting third-party validation for what they're doing. Because even somebody with good intentions, let's say I'm somebody that, hey, I, I'm an honest person. I wanna provide you the, the right stuff. I wanna, I wanna make sure that what I'm selling you is valid, you know, in the sense that you know, I believe that what I'm telling you this is and what I'm telling you it will do is real. But if I'm not validating this through you know, lab testing and everything else, I might even believe it and it might not be true. So I think that that's one of the, the really important things uh, you know, to understand and one of the things that opened my eyes because you know, I, you know, we toured, you'll see in, in, the, in the series, you know, we're, we're there you know, the, with the masks and everything on, walking through manufacturing facilities and looking at how they do their stuff. And the good manufacturers, I'll tell you, they're spending a lot of money on how they're processing from the time the stuff comes in, how they quarantine it, quarantine it for a while, how they test it, then how they move it through the process of manufacture to make sure that everything is safeguarded. To do that right is no small task. So that's one of the things. The second thing is that um, a lot of times, and I mentioned this already, uh, and this is, I don't want to say necessarily disheartening, but it, it, it makes me, you know, it's a reason for concern, is that I see, um, you know, marketers, people who, don't really care about nutrition, people who don't really know or understand nutrition, but they're very good at marketing. And what they do is, especially online marketing, and what they do is they will go to a contract manufacturer and say, hey, can you formulate something for me? And, they, and, and it doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad product, but the thing that attracted me to the people that I liked is that, hey, this is their purpose, this is their life, their heart is in it. They care about it in a different way. Uh, so I think that, that it's important to really find those people who have a longer history, who really care about this stuff, um, that, that you're going to end up with a much better result you know, as a consequence of that. Uh, the other thing uh, that I mentioned, which really shifted some of what I do, is, um, and even the shakes that I make, is starting to understand what things should not be taken together. And the big, big caution is that there are definitely supplements that do not go with certain medications. And most often your medical doctors don't understand that. So, uh, so if you're asking what's the biggest risk, uh, it's gonna be taking supplements while you're taking prescri prescription medication and never uh, validating if this is okay or never going and looking at adverse reactions if you put these two things together. Yeah, and I think a lot of times conventional medical doctors will just say, don't take supplements because they don't, they're not educated in the interactions and they're concerned about that for valid reasons. Um, it's unfortunate that they're not trained in, in nutritional supplements, or herbal supplements, because they can actually, you know, be taken together, but it has to be done carefully. And it's certainly a naturopathic physician, something we were taught in naturopathic medical school and that we're taught at all of our continuing med medical education. And then we have pharmacy hours that we have to have yeah. in order to keep our license active. And a lot of those pharmacy hours are talking about interactions and how to use natural therapies in conjunction with pharmaceutical medications or you know how they might interact together. Yeah, yeah I'm really glad you said this because uh, it, it is a ever unfolding thing, meaning as you say, you have to get continuing education credit in pharmacology and knowing these drug interactions with supplements, et cetera. Very, very important. And if you've got any kind of a, you know, a health issue that you're taking prescription drugs for, you want to make sure that every single supplement you're taking is okay to mix with that drug. Yeah, absolutely. I want you talked about uh, as far as the quality of supplements and manufacturers and learning along the way. I think that's so fascinating. And I, I remember years ago when I was um, 
uh, I was trying to order some supplements from a particular provider that I've been, you know, recommending for many, many years for my patients. And they put a recall and they have put a um, out of stock on their supplements. And I was so upset because I sold so much. It was, um, it was a protein powder and they, so I sold so much of this. And so I contacted, I knew the owner of the company and I contacted them. I said, what's going on? I, you know, you're, I'm missing out on sales of my customers are there. My patients are wanting this product and they're upset. And he said, believe me, there's a reason why we are out of stock on this. And we did testing on the product and found contamination. So we don't want you to be selling this to your patients. And they didn't make a big fuss about it. And they didn't, you know, I just happened to know him. So he told me about this, but he said, you know, Trevor, the, the sad thing is, is that I know that, that, that supplier is going to take everything that we've returned and sell it to someone else. Yeah. And that, and that's really where you have the nightmares um, yeah. where, and, and I'll give you just another example off of that. Uh, and this is a, this is a great little thing. So if you're into bone broth, and especially uh, the bone broth proteins. Um, I wouldn't even think about any bone broth or bone broth protein that was not organic. Uh, I can get you, so one of the things that we came across is that there's a company who created a bone broth protein, very well marketed, very popularized. You can find it in the shelves of a lot of, you know, trusted store brands. And, um, and uh, it was, found that, and, but it doesn't say organic on it, okay? So it's not making the representation that it's an organic uh, bone broth protein, uh, but um, it turns out they're, they're getting, they were sourcing it from China and in the lab tests that they were finding these toxins that were, uh, I think, fertilizers and other such things that are illegal in the US. They're only used in China, which is how they figured out the stuff was coming from China. So there are times when you really want to make sure. So there are times when organic really matters. I always only do organic as a rule, but especially when it comes to powders and protein powders and collagen powders and so on, you know, I want grass fed. I want from you know, grass fed sources. If it's coming from a cow, I want, I want it organic. You're going to pay more money for that stuff. But I could tell you, you know, getting, you know, if you're looking at bone broth, you're looking at something that is distilled and concentrated. And if you're going to take really sick chickens full of all kinds of toxins and then concentrate all that down into a, a bone broth, uh, you know, protein that comes from them, uh, you, you're literally, you know, going to make yourself sick on that stuff. So it's real, those are the kinds of things you want to be kind of careful of. And, and listen, it happens sometimes maybe, you know, like you so the guy just said, hey, we're contaminated. It, it's not like, every, it, nobody has zero defect. Nobody's got it where it, there's never a defect. That's why you test. And by testing, you can say, oh, we got a problem here. Let's make sure that either we shut it down before it goes out or if it's not in fact, we have to do the recall and bring it all back. Nobody likes that, but at least you have the, the courage to say this is a temporary problem we have values about what we put into the marketplace and we'll just get past this. And I would trust someone who's willing to do that as compared to what you were talking about saying that they're going to resell through somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, you know, when I learned that, I realized when I went to go make my own supplements, I wanted to work with the manufacturer, like you said, that had been around for a long time that have these practices in place that actually test the raw materials and, and do those kinds of um, things that help me feel comfortable about selling supplements because I, I can't be in the lab and the supplement watching everything all the time. So going with a manufacturer that I really trust and I know that's, that's going to do that work. And of course, you know, selling supplements, there's a certain amount of responsibility that come with, comes with that. And I definitely take ownership of that. We always want purity and, and clean ingredients for, for our, our people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's your brand, right? So, uh, and, and I'm sure that, you know, your supplements are not the cheapest on the market, but the quality is there. You're going, you know, and to me, it's, again, you get what you pay for. Uh, and, uh, you know, I know, uh, especially my wife uses your products and loves them. And, uh, you know, and, I, and, you know, with all we know and, and the amount of, uh, you know, resources we have to be able to know what's out there, you know, she looks at your stuff and, and really loves it. So, you know, that's, that's saying a lot because of what we know and understand and, and the contacts we have to a lot of experts that are out there. Uh, and, and that's where, uh, you know, the due diligence through the practitioner provided supplement, you know, it, you know every practitioner says, hey, 
I spent eight years of my life, and, you know, getting you know uh, an education, getting a degree, building a trust in the brand. I'm not going to blow it on distributing supplements that aren't really good quality. I have to make sure I'm doing the right thing. So they got motivation to make sure they're delivering the right thing. Yeah. Well, Patrick, it's been so fascinating. I know we went longer than I thought we would because there's so much to talk about and there's so much more in the series. So, um, and, and if people are watching this podcast live, the supplements is revealed is going on right now, right? You're right in the middle of the interviews and then people can still, if they are watching, catching this, um, podcast later on, you still have it available. It's just, um, not live and people have to, to pay to, to get it right. Yeah. Yeah. We have varying packages. So basically, um, we have a free viewing period. So we basically invite the world. Um, and you know, we, we expect there'll be hundreds of thousands of people that are that are going to tune in from around the world uh, who are going to watch this. Uh, it's typical. You know, we've done many. Uh, we've explored many health topics in our docu series, and um, and so it's so we like people to come and say, "Hey, check this out. See if you like it." I know it's a lot of hours of content, uh, and you can't maybe watch it all during the previewing period, but we give a good amount of time in that previewing period. And at that point, if you uh, really liked what you saw and you want to have a library, a resource library to go back to, we have varying packages that are very affordable where people can you know, gain you know, permanent access to it. We have bonuses, all kinds of things. So, uh, so we're thrilled when people just sign up to watch it for free. And then if people like what we did and they feel like they want to make a small investment to, to own it, then uh, they can do that too. All right, great. Again, thanks, Patrick, for coming on. I really appreciate the interview. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I just love the work that you're doing and uh, I want to encourage you to keep doing it. It's very necessary in the world. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this interview today with Dr. Patrick Gentempo and got some great takeaways around supplements. And I'm sure you still have a lot of questions and that's why they put together this entire docu-series around supplements revealed and you can still catch that if you're if you're watching this podcast when it goes live then you can go to the spotdoctor.com go to the podcast page with dr jen tempo's interview and in the show notes you'll find the link directly to the docu series and you'll be able to find out what's still live what's still available and hopefully catch my interview in the docu series as it goes live so again just go to the spot doctor com and go to the podcast page with his interview and you'll find it in the show notes. And also while you're on the spotdoctor.com, I encourage you to join our community so you don't miss any of our upcoming shows. You can also join our community by taking the skin quiz. Just go to theskinquiz.com, find out what messages your skin is trying to tell you about your health and what you can do about it. Just go to theskinquiz.com. Also invite you to join us on social media. The Spot Doctor is on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. So join us there. There, and I'll see you next time on the Spot Doctor podcast.